the Goucher MFA program. I thought of it as, and Patsy likes this, but I really do think of it as the Florence of, of, uh, of, of, not, of journalism, of nonfiction writing in the United States, where if you had all the mo most talented people in one place, um, what would it be like, you know? And that's what it's like there. I don't mean to, mean to un interest, insult other programs. I mean, the places like the University of Iowa or whatever, famous schools elsewhere that teach uh, literature, masters in nonfiction writing. But really the truth is, in my experience of Goucher and knowing people who have been there over a number of different years and knowing the faculty very well, you could almost say, if you were being immodest, that there's more talent in the student body in Goucher than there is in the faculties anywhere else. And it's just a remarkable place with a great um, spirit where everyone's pulling for each other and trying to nurture each other on to bigger things, better things, whatever's in them. Um, but I think the significance, I know Goucher is into breaking boundaries and, and, and changing into a better world, right? And the power to do that um, in the MFA program is immense because you look at this world where everyone is concerned with how to, quote, engage, how to engage someone, how to how to get their attentions, to how to, how to make them feel deep, more deeply human, maybe make better choices. And all this talk about engagement and specialists and, and, and marketing studies, you know, writers, writers were the, are the great and artists are the greatest marketers who ever lived we were born all of us you know to put meaning to people in groups to bring them together to, to, to make them feel deeply human that talent and journalism mass communications is as much to blame as anyone seems endangered today but really when you look at the humble journalist the feature writer who when he or she reaches higher goes and gets an MFA at Goucher and writes literary journalism what is that but a way to reach forward into knowledge, truth, fact, to this world of fact we're in, and back into the midst of what it really takes to engage with people, what's in our hearts that writers and artists are born to do, and put it in one place. These are the stories that move the world. People m mistake it for entertainment, but, you know, uh, the greatest novels, the greatest uh, literature, uh, even entertainments like, you know, Seabiscuit, where does that come from? It comes from a literary journalist. It comes from someone who learns those skills and how to tell a story to engage people. It doesn't come from marketing studies. It doesn't come from someone who uh, is cynical about people. It's come from someone who loves people and, and is reaching to tell all kinds of stories, uh, no matter what uh, age or race or whatever, to, to move people. Um, and that's, the, that's the, the reason Goucher is so powerful that way and what they're teaching is that even though this seems like a crazy, old, mixed up world with so much technology, the fact is that power has barely been tapped. And I guess that's it. In, in a Goucher program like that, you get to learn all about science, all about ethics, all about anything that allows you to um, navigate the modern world in a sophisticated way. And yet, the root of it is that basic humanity. Dick Todd called us, I think it's a great line, he said, what we are is the last amateurs.